So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. And look, there's another covered bridge there behind us. I know the last ones we got done filming were all the way out in Greene County. We did all seven of them out there. That was quite an adventure. But I'm here in southwest Columbia County this morning. Let me show you a little map, give you an idea of where I am. Here's a map of all the covered bridges. We're all the way up here in Columbia County. It has 21 covered bridges. It shares three of them with Northumberland County. That's where we are today. But this is the Crick Balm covered bridge. This is the Roaring Creek, or the south branch of the Roaring Creek, I think it's called. Yeah, there's Crick Balm, it says up there. About, what's it, 68 feet long? Yeah, we're not too far from Knobles Grove, if you're familiar with that little amusement park. I should be there later today. There's two covered bridges there in the park. You should recognize the design. We had a lot of these out in a, when we were out in Greene County. It goes up, across, and down. That's the Queen Post. Built in 1876. This is some thick, I was gonna say, you can see down through the, you can see the creek down through the boards here. <laughs> they also have these like, ones for your tires to go on. Let's see, these are some pretty big beams here. The wood on the roof looks a lot newer though. Just looking at some of the joinery. Huh. All right. This has that natural wood look too. At least on the inside. Beautiful countryside though. It is a scorcher out here today though. It's gonna be up in the 90s. It's a good day to go out. And I was filming a a video on Route 125, drive around air condition. But it's a good day to film covered bridges too. I'm not gonna hike any mountains on it. It's like 94 degrees outside. So, good covered bridge day. There's a nice shot of it looking through there. Got the sign in the way though. <laughs> All right, but let's get a look down underneath. Oh, frogs, I can hear them. I'm gonna say, uh, let's say no steel beams for this one. That's my guess. Let's see if we can get under here. Uh, oh, I was right. I don't see any steel beams under there. This looks like some swallows living under there. Yeah, beautiful creek down here. So I get down just a little bit more, look under there, yeah. No, no beams. It has that weathered look on the outside. It's painted red, but it's that weathered red painting. It hasn't been painted for a while. Get up over the guardrail again. Ouch. Ugh. Yeah, beautiful location though. Got the purple dames rocket blooming down there in the meadow. A little bit of graffiti, but needs a good dusting though. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I like the natural wood on the inside. I don't think we'll see, there's five covered bridges here in this area that we're gonna do. I don't think any of them are gonna be. We haven't seen the Burr Arch Trust for a while. Most of today is gonna be the Queen or the King Post again. There's looking down through again. You know, I like the long ones, but these short ones, this one's not terribly short, but they have their own character. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any kind of a side view here. It's all posted around here. All right. Here's a shot, we'll get one more shot looking this way. There we go, that'll have to do. Yeah, we'd like to get a side view, but everything is pretty clearly posted around here on the sides. Except on the other side, but there's no really way to get it. It's all too much brush. 
All right, but we're gonna go ahead and drive across the Crick Bomb Covered Bridge. All right, make sure no one's coming. Go ahead and drive across the Crick Bomb Covered Bridge. See if this will make any noise. Oh, it's kind of a quiet one. All right, on to the next one. But anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this one, folks. Like I said, we'll be visiting a couple more here in a little bit. We'll be at Knoebel's Grove, too, for a bit. A little bit of a different atmosphere for Cover Bridge. All right, I'll see you on the next one, folks.